Okay, now I'm going to show you. If you listen carefully, I'm going to show you how you're going to sample, how you can sample this. I mean, or profile it actually and convert, uh, convert the coordinate system to another coordinate system. Um, first of all, you just need to form a new database. You form a new database called maybe TMI or whatever you want to call the database. Um, you said there are already a database here. Yeah, you say yes. So I'll overwrite that one. Now I want to sample this, you know, at this grid um, profile. I'm going to draw a profile on this grid and get, you know, the data relating to that profile. And uh, what do I do? I'll form the TMI database here. So the next thing is I'm going to go to grid. I'll go to utilize this and say grid profile. You know, I will choose. There are different grids I have here. But I can choose what I have to choose here in my TMI grid. I can choose other grids. And your new line name is, I choose the line zero. And it's the sample interval. This is, uh, I can do 500 or I can do 1000 meters, you know? So that is just, I will say digitize, you can do manual impute, but digitize from map and say, okay. So you now go to, to the grid, you know, and click. This is the profile, for example, I want to pick profile like this and I'll right click and say done that is over you say overwrite this line is it I say yes and that is it so you can see the profile um, parameters of x y and you know um, that of the z which is your, your your TMI so this now I can also convert this into this is UTM. I can convert this into um, into decimal degrees. Okay, I will go here and pick um, and pick uh, coordinates. So I'll say I want to do new projected coordinates. You know, when I click that, you're going to enter existing coordinate channel. So the existing coordinate channels here. Uh, x and y so you say next so it's confirming what the existing coordinate x and y is in utm zone 32 i'm not going to modify it because it's just like trying to define what you are having here already i said yes so it's going to create bring another dialog box for me to create new coordinate channels the new coordinate channels for x i'll say i want to create longitude longitude um, i'm going to create latitude you know there and i'm going to say what next so here i'm going to modify it now it's not going to be utm zone 32 i want to modify it to geographic coordinate system which is this and i can say next next and uh, next so you see geographic coordinate system here is that in 84 i'll show it for and that is it. We are not modifying anything. I can say yes. Okay. You see, it has actually transformed that into this. And another thing, another thing I can actually do here is I can also try to, if I have, I can also form another elevation, um, elevation column here. That depends on if I want to go on other kind of calculations that might require my elevation from that profile. Um, you can also do that by using, um, I think you can go to utilities again and do um, sample grid. You sample the grid, X reference, you know, is this, Y reference. Is resample channel uh, using sample channel? I can say elevation. 
I'll grid file, I can pick it from the copies. And I'll say OK. So automatically it has brought out my elevation for me. So you can see at this particular point, you can have your longitude, latitude, and the elevation. And at, at the end of the day, we can also calculate our total uh, fuel here using this. This is just the way you can actually do your grid profiling from your grid and do your grid sampling and also, you know, get your longitude, latitude, and elevation of that profile. Thank you.